what is up paradise crew and i have a story for you today and as you can tell from the youtube title it says crashing my drone in mexico yes this story is going to be all about me crash this thing in the middle of the cosmillion ocean cosmillion mexico we're in cosmo mexico cosmillion but here's the deal the story is actually not that simple it's actually pretty no it's pretty simple now there's a few things you need to know about this story. Number one, I was in Cozumel, Mexico. Number two, it is surprisingly windy in Mexico, particularly Cozumel, especially the day I was on. So this story starts off with us getting off of the harmony of the seas. Um, it was a beautiful group cruise and me, Alyssa and Keon decided to go to a tour Jeep tour in Cosmel. We got to see the Jade Caverns. Super cool. Do some tequila tasting, which is awesome as well. But we also got to do snorkeling. And before we actually got to do any of that, we realized that we weren't on ship's time. We were on island time. So we got off the ship thinking we were late for our excursion. But in reality, we're actually an hour early. So we had a lot of time to kill, okay? So once I'm out there, I'm flying. I'm about 230 meters up. Um, the sky is so gorgeous. The water's so blue. You can see boats in the ocean, the clear skies. You can see the harmony of the seas. You can see carnival ships. You can see celebrity. I mean, the sight is so amazing. And of course, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, I hear a signal on my remote the dreaded sound your new home point has been calculated i'm sorry my new home point has been recalculated the home point has been updated please check it on the map so the new home point has been updated even though i am still in the same spot i've been flying the entire time the new home point has been updated the new home point has been updated at this point I'm freaking out a little bit, right? It's still not like bad, bad, but it's bad. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Now it goes bad, bad as soon as my screen goes black. I was like, you know, no big deal. The home point has been updated. I'm gonna fly back. I know exactly where I'm at. I can see this thing out there. It's good to go, right? That's actually almost kind of the scary part, seeing your drone kind of just descend into the ocean. It's not a good, thing. but at this point, all right, so at this point, I decided I want to get a little artsy, you know? I'm a drone photographer. I like to fly high, and then I like to take a couple of photos, and I'm also a little risky. I know exactly where I'm at. I can always fly back, so I'm going to get this cool shot of the carnival glory, the carnival fascination. Um, it's going to be a cool shot, and I'm going to get a couple of photos of the, car uh, the harmony of the seas. It's going to be a good, good time. But first, I was thinking, let's get these photos of the carnival ships first. And then I'll get the harmony of the seas because it's a little bit further out. All right, where were we in this story? There's Alyssa, guys. Um, the TV's on. Right now we're in Texas. Sorry to start a new story. We're in Texas right now. But I had to finish the current story I was working on, which is flying the drone, crashing in Mexico. <laughs> All right, so sorry to get distracted. But... I'm flying in Mexico. Alyssa and Keon are sitting on my side right now. And my drone has said the home point has been recalculated. So that means the drone is going to land somewhere in the middle of the Cozumel Ocean. Cozumelian? Cozumel? Mexican Ocean? I don't think any of that is correct. Cozumel Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and so the screen is black. It's recalculated the home point in the middle of the ocean. Um, the wind is carrying it out. And at this point, all my options have been exhausted. So if I say return to home point, it's just going to slowly descend into the ocean. If I try to bring it back manually, the wind is too high, so I cannot bring it back. Um, also, the screen's black, so I have no idea where I am. So as this drone is just lowering, 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 by the grace of God, the screen comes back on. The screen on the drone comes back on and I can see that I'm directly over, I think the carnival victory. One second, let me figure out which ship it was. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I think it was the carnival glory. Um, if you know this ship, and I'm gonna show you in a second, uh, I'm descending downward into this carnival glory and I get 
the signal back. I can finally see the screen. I'm lowering down and I hit stop. I start flying right back up just before I'm landing on the whale tail of this new ship, um, this ship, the carnival ship. And naturally what most people would do, right, is just um, either panic, fly the drone home, and I did what any smart person would do is I took a photo. Check this out. Some of the coolest shots I have ever gotten of a carnival ship for one. And I was lucky enough, as I was flying back, I was able to get a couple of shots of the harmony of the seas. What a cool experience, very scary. But after that, I was able to fly back home manually. I saw where, I say home, but basically fly back to where I was located, land it safely. You get to experience that cool Cozumel vlog that we had. So if you haven't seen the Cozumel vlog with the Jeep tour, I flew the drone over the Jeeps and stuff like that. Um, that's a fun vlog too. But that's basically how I almost crashed my drone in Mexico. And, um, and I think Alyssa's just hearing this story. So, boop, boop. Guys, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe and Here we go. See you later. Peace.